Hi folks, this is a quick video uh, giving you an overview of how to control the LEDs on your verbal device. Specifically, I'm going to be using my V1 uh, original throttle. That's the funky one with the detents. So, first off, select your device, click the load. Now what this basically does is it loads the configuration, which I must stress yet again, because some people don't understand this. The configuration is stored on the device. If you unplug this device and plug it in another computer, you don't need to uh, mess around with the software at all. The config is stored on the firmware on the device. So if you're upgrading your computer or moving stuff around, unplug it from one, plug it in the other. That's it. No more messing around needed than that. I digress. So LEDs. So if we click on the button tab, so right now, uh, the mode selector is in position one. That's what this section deals with here. This section deals with um, the mode rotary on the um, throttle. And over here, each of these corresponds to the color that is going to be set whenever the rotary is in that position, what's in that specific mode, that shift state. Now, um, I will digress and take you to the profile tab. So right now, the profile that this throttle is using is the basic default one. It's the five-way modifier. I do not use this myself because I use Joystick Gremlin and I find it much, much more effective. But by default, this is what most of you guys are going to be using. To be frank with you, it's a shit way using this joystick, but there you go. So that is the profile we're using. The other one is the no mode modifier and I'll show you that one in a minute. So if you go to the button tab, uh, the rotary is in position one and all the LEDs are off. When I move it around to two, it now goes blue, then green, then red, and then this gray color. That's what this actually is. It's a great gray color. I don't know if you see it well enough or not. Now, if I go to the LED, this one here is basically displaying what the LED is, is doing right now. So if I turn this rotary back, you see it changing. So it's just, this one here is basically a display function. I'll get around to this one in a minute. So if you want to change the LEDs and you're using the, the uh, five mode, uh, operational mode, click in here. Uh, this row here uh, corresponds to the brightness level, 30%. This one is 60 and 100 is full bright. Uh, it's up to you which one you use. So I'm just going to change this one from a blue to this sort of turquoisey well, cyan color and go save VPC device and save it back to the device. Okay, now we're good to go. Now let's just switch it from one to two. And now instead of that bright blue color, we have that cyan color. So that's basically how to change any of the um, the colors for the different mode selector. And that is the most basic operation. And that's the one that um, out of the box, the profile you're probably going to use. It's not the one I use. Like I say, I prefer the other one. So I'll just load up my other profile. So I'm going to import it because I backed it up first. So I don't want to screw this up. Just pick in the file and then open and then save to save it back. So this profile here is the other one. This is the um, new mode modifier. It also contains a few extra bindings that I've put into this config. Not sure to do with the axis tab. I specifically put them in for the F15, but that's from a different tutorial. So the mode that it's actually running on now that the config, the profile is the new mode modifier. So right now, you'll see that all these are disabled because in this profile, the mode selector doesn't work and add shift states to this column the way it did before. And by default, the five-way mode modifier only messes around and gives you extra functionality for buttons B1 to B8. That's the little um, square ones on the main throttle body. Um, I find this mode is much better. So um, if I want to control the LEDs on this one, this uh, no mode modifier, I click the LED tab, I go to here. So like I said before, this is a uh, display of what it's doing and this is the control, this column. So in this particular way, in this second way of using it, I click in here, I'm gonna go for that 
Uh, let's go for that green color, light green. I'll just save back. Now, instantaneously, that actually changes to green, but I'm saving it to the firmware to make sure that the next time the computer powers down, it actually is green. So now uh, the throttle is lit up with that nice light green color. And even though I switch it around all the different modes, obviously you can't see this because I haven't got a camera here, uh, it stays green the entire time. And that is how to control the LEDs for the um, no mode modifier. Now, I'm not sure what these other ones are for. This other one is marked as the grip, but there are no LEDs on the grip currently in this particular model. I'm assuming this is for some sort of weird future proofing. So that's it. That's how to mess around and fiddle with the LEDs on your verbal device. And I was just demoing it using the V1 throttle. Should be the same for all the other throttles. Except probably the CM2, which I have not got one of. I didn't want to buy one of them because I didn't like the, um, the layout and whatnot and the lack like of functionality.